Am I even recording? Oh, I am. Let's get down to business. Hello, my fellow equestrians. It is Claire Wood here. What is up? So today, I'm going to clean my tack and show you how I do it. Normally, I don't do all of these steps because I am lazier than crap, but I'm gonna show you how I do it. I'm not showing you saying this is the only way that you can clean tack or your way is wrong. I'm just showing you my way and how I do it, so don't get offended, and if you will get offended, bubba. So today I'll be showing you guys how to clean saddles, bridles, bits, boots, girths, breastplates, basically anything and everything. Let's get started. start with cleaning my saddle. So the first step would be to take your leathers and stirrup irons off. You don't have to do this step, it's not necessary, but if you want a better, deeper clean, take them off. The next step that I like to do is I like to take a rag and ugh, dip it in some warm water and I just like to wipe everything off to get all the dirt off and dust and everything. Now, of course, for video purposes, I'm only showing you me doing one side. Otherwise, this video would be a thousand minutes long. I, I will clean both sides, but for the video I'm just showing you one side. Or am I? So after you have done that, and of course you will do that to your stirrup leathers as well, I'm just not gonna show that, then you're gonna take your leather cleaner of choice. I'm using this Lexol cleaner. So you're just gonna spray this all over your tack and then wipe it off with a rag. Make sure to get under everything and all that jazz. Once I'm done with that, I use Neat's Foot Oil um, on my saddle just to kind of soften it up um, and darken the leather and everything. So you're just gonna take that, put it on your rag, and get it everywhere. I tend to um, use this product very heavily, um, except for in the areas where there's lots of stitching because you don't want that to come undone. But I tend to use a lot of this product and give it some time to kind of soak in, soften up the leather, and here we go. Once you're done using your Neat's Foot Oil, you are going to use a leather conditioner of your choice. This helps from like prevent cracking and it also softens up the leather and kind of just gives it a really nice finish. So I always like to use that three step process of, well, four step I guess technically, of hot water, then I use my leather cleaner, oil, and then leather conditioner. So 
there you go. Now you have a clean saddle. Um, so I know like a thousand of you are going to ask, what is your saddle? My saddle is an Ovation brand. It's literally like 15, like 20 years old. I got it off eBay because I'm broke and I have no money. So yeah, it's kind of sucky, but it looks pretty good for 20 years old. It wouldn't be a clean saddle without a montage, would it? No, it wouldn't. Now, I know a lot of people like clean the underside of their saddle and do a bunch of extra stuff, but um, I'm a little bit lazy, so I'm not going to be doing that today. Most people would completely take their bridle apart to clean it, but I am lazy yet again. So if you really want like a super deep clean, take everything apart, every little piece and clean everything. But I didn't do that, but if you choose to do it that way, make sure you take a picture of where what holes your clips are at so it makes it easier putting it back together. I clean my riding boots my tall boots and I know you're all going to ask these are mountain horse tall boots so I basically use almost all the same steps with my boots as I do with my other tack I still use the four different steps but then I also put boot polish on the outside of my boot not the inside that's gonna to be touching the horse so if I have a show I'll put boot polish on the outside of my boot which makes it look really, really nice, but I'm not going to do that today because I'm not going to a show soon. So just know that if you are going to put boot polish on your boot, make sure all it's dry from cleaning it and then you just only put it on the outside. All that I have for you guys today thank you guys so much for watching if you have any tech that I didn't clean in this video probably shouldn't clean it or just throw it in a washing machine 
thank you guys so much for watching. Please like and subscribe, and I'll catch you later.